no one else can receive the glory. Say, no one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. Say, no one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. Because he's holy. Holy and righteous. Righteous. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Mighty. Mighty. Alpha. Alpha.
Everybody just clap your hands right there. Come on. Clap. I wish you would put your minds on praise so that God can come in this place. We need the Spirit of the Lord to come in here and move by His Spirit. Hallelujah! One more time, one more time, one more time. Come on, clap those hands in here. We're going to do it together right here, y'all. Everybody, let's sing it right here. Sing, say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Hey, set it all belongs. I said, give God praise. I said, give God praise. I wish somebody was self dedicated. I said, let's give God praise. He's been a real good God. He's been a real good God. I said, he's been a real good God. He's been a real good. wish you would pass this down your road. Just tell a few people around you. Tell them he's been a real good God. He's been a real good God. If we all get on one accord, I promise you the spirit of the Lord will come in this place. I need people who know he's been a real good God to open your mouth one more time and let's give God a prize in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I said he's been good. 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 If you do me a favor, can we lift our hands in the sanctuary, everybody? Hallelujah. How God is amazing. How God is so awesome. And those of you who have just a memory, just to think about all that he's brought us through. Our brother Sean McLemore was truly a worshiper. And these were moments that he would relish. And we want to create this atmosphere. Because I just believe God, even in this moment, wants to do something amazing in somebody's life right now. Lord, I love you. Yes, I love you. How I love you. I really love you. Yes, Lord. Just for who you are. In all of your glory. My heart sings holy, holy. You are. I'll sing that everybody. Sing, Lord, I love you. Sing, Lord, I love you. Come on, everybody, let's do it together. Yes, I love you. Come on, sing it. How I love you. How I love you. I really love you. I really love you. Everybody, lift your voice and sing. Just for who you are. Just for who you are. In all of your glory. In all of your glory. Yes, Lord. Come on, sing my heart. My heart sings holy, holy. Come on, tell him you are everything. Say. You are everything. I need you to be. 
Come on, say, you are the great. You are the great. Come on, say, I am. I am. Can we turn our praise on? Come on, say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you. Come on, tell him. Tell him how I love you. Say it. How I love you. Yes, Lord. I really love you. Say it. I really love Come on, tell it just for who you are. Say it. Just for who you are. In all of your glory. In all of your glory. Come on, say it. My heart sings. Say it. My heart sings. Oh. Holy, holy. Come on, tell it. You are everything. You are everything. everything. The great, come on, say you are the great. I am. Oh, no, no, no. Lord, I love. I wish some worship was to come on and say it. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love. Come on, everybody. Come on, tell them how I love you. How I love. Come on, tell them I really love you. Say it, I really. I Come on, say just for who you are. Sing just, just for who you are. In all of your glory. In all of your glory. Come on, say my heart, my heart. My heart. Sing. Holy, holy. Come on, tell him you are everything. Say you are. You are everything. You. Come on, say. It. To do this one more time. I am saying. I am. Come on, say, say Lord. Lord, I love you. Come on, everybody who can do it. Come on, say yes, I love you. Yes, hey, I love you. Jesus. Come on, say how I love you. How I love. I really love you. I really love you. Come on, say it. Just for who you are. Say just. Just for who you are In all of your glory In all of your glory Come on, say My heart, my heart, say My heart Sing Holy Holy, holy Everybody, come on, say You are everything You are everything I need you I need you to be Say, you are the great. You are hey. the great. Come on, say it. I am. Yes, you are. I am. Hey. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Everybody lift your voice and say, yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. I wish you would lift your voice and tell them how I love you. How I love you. Should I really love you? I really just for who you are. See, just, just for who you are. In all of your glory. In all of your glory. Come on, say it. Come on, say it. My heart, my heart. My heart. See. Come on, tell them. You are everything, son. You are everything. Tell him that one more time. Tell him you are everything to you. Say, you are everything. I need you to be. I, to I don't know what you need him to be right now, but I need you to say you are everything. You are everything. Yes, you are. You can wipe my tears. You can comfort me. Come on, everybody say, you are everything. Say, I said you're the great I am. 
said you're the great I am y'all gotta lose yourself in here I said you're the great I am come on you gotta lose yourself in here I said you're the great I am I said you're the great I yes you are you're everything I need you to be you're everything I need you to be you're everything I, I need you to be I said you're everything you're a healer you're a way maker you're a deliverer you're a strong tower you're a provider you're a protector I wish somebody know he's your everything yes he is 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 I wish I had some praises in here who know God is your everything just when you need him most just when you need him most just when you need him most he'll come to your rescue I said he's your everything That's the only reason why some of us haven't lost our mind yet. That's the only reason why some of us haven't gone crazy yet. That's the only reason why some of us haven't went loop no coat yet. Because God is. I said God is. I said God is. I said God is. I don't know what he is to you. But I need you to touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is my everything. That's why I can praise him in the midst of being sad. That's why I can praise him in the midst of what I'm going through. That's why I can praise him. Come on, let's lift up a sound in here. Let's celebrate Jesus. If he kept your mind all week, all through the COVID, if he's keeping you right now, lift a sound in the house. Yeah. I feel fire in here. I say, I feel fire. One of my shot. Woo! I, I believe. I believe that Sean is rejoicing in heaven right now. And if he was down here right now, I believe he would break out in a dance and a praise. If he's been your... Give him praise in the house. To God, to God, be the glory, to God, be the glory, to God, let me hear you, call it me, call it me, be the glory. Well, come on, one more time. To God. Be the To God. Lift your voice. Zion. To Be the glory. Go right back. To God. Be the glory. To God. To God. Be the glory. If your voice. Come on. We're going to do that one more time for the whole house. 
To God be the I feel the Holy Ghost. Be the glory. Come on and clap your hands and love on me. Hallelujah. Yes, and we welcome you here. The family said that they wanted to have some church, and we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. The Bible says rejoice with those that rejoice, and we know that this is a heavy hour for the family and for those that have been close to Sean for years, but we're going to praise God. Praise will lift up the burden, and so we honor God, all of the pastors that are in the house. If the pastors can just stand just for a moment, all the pastors... Give God a hand of praise for all of the clergymen, ministers that are in the house. Bless you. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is in the house. Let's bless God for her. She's, she's going right, uh, flying out after this to fight in Washington for us. So we are grateful. Hey, let's have church. I'm sorry. 
satisfied with you. Satisfied me. Yeah. And where you lead, I'll go. I will trust your word. You have complete control. I will be satisfied with you. Oh, where you lead, I'll go. Where you lead, I'll go. Can you tell them that say I will trust you? I will trust your word. Why? Because you have complete control. You have complete control. Say I will be. I will be satisfied with you. Let's do it again. Say where you lead, I'll go. Where you lead, I'll go. I will trust you. I will trust your word.
Somebody open your mouth and tell God I'll be satisfied with you. Yeah. I said that Sean would say, yeah. <laughs> y'all playing, y'all playing in here. Somebody just clap your hands and love God tonight. We just want to say thank you guys um, now. We want to tell you thank you for being here to help us celebrate Dr. Sean McLemore. Come on, he's worthy of that. We're grateful for all that have come out tonight and we're thankful for all that have come out tonight. I'm so grateful when I walked in the building, I see my brothers walking in, Kevin Powell and Doobie Powell walking Woo! in and I see our friend Alex Ward and I see Mr. Kerry Douglas, look at God can do, the healer, and Mr. Ernest Pugh, and I see when we walked in the back, I, my brother, my big brother was back there, Pastor Donnie McClurkin, and Bishop Winans couldn't make it, but his general manager, Cindy Flowers, is here, and Pastor Daryl Blair, I'm getting in trouble because I do see, I see the William brothers in this place. Y'all know I love y'all. And there's many more to come, but we don't want to hold up because we want to get out of here in a good time so y'all get some rest and be ready for tomorrow. But before I move any further, Pastor Usher, Lady Usher, y'all know I love y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. To Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, I just saw her Sunday. And um, yeah, it's, it's amazing to know how many people love Sean all over the world. And I told Pastor Donnie in the back, one thing about it is he did not die wondering was he loved. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just saying, some people, it's hard for them to let go and because they feel like they, you know, nobody cares or they've been forgotten about. But God let Sean know earlier on, before I introduced these people, that God loved him. But I want you all to do me a favor. Sean's mom is here. His family is here from Los Angeles. But I want you all to love on Sean. Hold on. Sean's mom, she's been here. She wrote this last few, two, three Three months, mom. Man, the last three months, she was here. They were fighting, and they were fighting. And she didn't care, because she was going to win. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And the last three weeks, she stayed at that hospital, Houston hospice, hospice with him. She stayed in the room day and night. They had to pull her out to just go get some heat, because she didn't want to leave his side. Can y'all love on Mama Mac? Y'all, she's 89 years old, but she's strong. That's Sean's mama. His sister, Sissy, Anita, and Donovan, and Anise. I don't know where the rest of them are, but they are here. She's a strong woman, and y'all, she has sat in this seat within the last, I think, four years, twice with losing her daughter as well as her son. But God, the keeper of her soul, and she don't look like she's 89, she looks good. So we want to publicly tell you tonight as well as tomorrow when I have words, we thank you. We thank you. And I know she's, she's, she's trying to be strong, but this is a hard pill to swallow. And, um, but we trust God on today. Hey, go on, sit down, my man. But what we come up here to do, you, you, you want to say something? You good? Thank y'all for coming. All right. We want to introduce these two young men that have been, they have been so amazing. 
But, but what's amazing about them being amazing is they didn't just start being amazing. This thing goes back, way back, Isaac Carey. Oh, my friend Lonnie Hosley is here. Pastor Lonnie Hosley is here. Is that his wife with him? From Portland, Oregon. We love y'all. Keith Eason. I'm going to I'm I'm thank you, though. Thank you. I, I don't have my glasses on. Love y'all. These guys, these two guys, we go way back. We go back to James singing in the choir for John P. Key. <laughs> He was singing, singing. Uh, singing. Was it? That's my. He's my king. He was singing. He was singing hard. Nobody knew that he was gonna end up being what it was. And it goes back to Isaac Curry and Sean and us, us being on the road with the plays. My mom sorry and my mom blind and all kind of mamas. <laughs> But those were the days when we were on the ghetto bus. We had the, we, we caught our bus the ghetto bus because, we, you know, the celebrities were on the other bus with Tyrone Jones. No, Tyrone Jones, the ghetto. He was in the hood with us. But I'm grateful tonight. If y'all could start clapping now for Mr. Isaac Curry and James Fortune. Come on, give it to them. sermonic solo please if you don't mind it be your own friends pastor Donnie. it be your own friends <laughs> listen clap your hands praise the lord everybody if you love jesus come on if you're grateful for the life of my brother dr sean mclemore come on give god the best praise that you can right now i'm so grateful and honored to be here my brother i was th that was no lie i was in 11th grade in high school 1995 and i was just a fan of sean mclemore i went to the it was a recording for the Stan album, so I'm just singing in the choir, just singing my life away. Just I was singing tenor, not lead. I wasn't leading, Pastor. I know I already see your face. I was in my holding my tenor note, and I was just such a fan of Sean. And and so when I got ready to record my my first album in 2004, I asked him to be a part. I had no idea he would agree to do it, uh, but I said I'm gonna just shoot my shot. I'm gonna just shoot my shot. And so uh, he agreed to do it, and then from then on, we just became brothers. And I got so many other stories, but I'm just grateful for his life. I'm grateful for his ministry. The song I believe that we're going to do a little bit later tonight would not have been what it had been without Sean McLemore. I'm sorry. I got to be honest. Like, nice. Well, y'all got the right two hosts in the night. We're going to loosen this thing on up. We're going to have a good time. We came to have a good time. We came to clown, we came to joke. We came Sean, to worship Sean God because was a, Sean that's, was what, a jokester. that's the Sean McLemore I know. Yeah. Now, y'all know this other Sean. And I know he loved God, and I know he sang and he worshiped, but Sean was a fool. He made you laugh. Yes, he sir. was crazy. Yes, and, and I cannot be up here tonight and not try to echo the sentiments of his heart on how he would have been had he been here. Uh, I, 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 I praise God that for uh, maybe about two, three months ago, uh, when we found out that Sean wasn't doing well, James and I had an opportunity uh, to use the platform that God gave us on Fortune's Live Talent. Anybody watch Fortune's Live Talent? So nobody on this side watch, huh? I see. It be your own people, James. <laughs> Come on, you But uh, we had an opportunity to um, uh, have Sean on the show, and we were able to be a blessing to him because a lot of people talk and a lot of people say things, but we wanted to... Make sure that we, we didn't just show him love, but we showed him deeds. We gave him some bread, and we wanted to let him know that we loved him, and we reminded him of some of the things that he may have thought that people had forgotten about. And this room just, uh, just shows me tonight how many people actually loved Sean McLemore. So before we move forward, can I get everybody in this building to stand to your feet, and let's just show some love the way we do it for the amazing, the incomparable, Woo! the legend, Sean McLemore, make some noise. So I want to encourage the family and everybody here real quick. And uh, to his beautiful mom and family here yes. from California and to my sister Rhonda, my sister Sharon, 
and everybody else, I was, there was a soul food restaurant. Every time I went to Atlanta, I would go to this soul food restaurant. I would get, leave the airport, go directly to this restaurant off Cleveland Avenue. One particular week, I got off the airplane, I exited, I went to the restaurant, the lights were out. The windows were boarded up. I said, oh, I shut down, it's closed. What happened? My favorite soul food restaurant. But I got, something told me to get out the car. I went up to the front, and on the door it said, still in business, just change locations. Talk, James. I said, it said, still in business, just change locations. Some of y'all don't know when to shout, but I just need to encourage oh. 50 people that knows that Sean is still in business. But he just changed locations. A place with no more pain. A place with no more sorrow. A pla he's praising God with Jesus. He just, tell somebody, say he just changed locations, baby. He's still in business. He's still praising God. He's still giving God glory. No more weeping. No more weeping. No more pain. But just shouting, he's still in business. And, uh, and, and I, I got, woo, I, uh, I cried and I, and, uh, woo. Somebody say these tears of joy, baby. Somebody say these tears of joy. Shot it. Come on, somebody just wave your hand. Say he's still here. He just changed location. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Somebody praise him. I don't know what you're waiting on. Come on, somebody shout right now with the voice of triumph. Come on, somebody give God praise. Say he's still in business. He just... Listen, I don't want to belabor the moment. I want to, I want to bring up. I, wanna, I don't want to belabor the moment. We still got a lot to do tonight, and I don't want to drag it out. But I do want to bring up somebody who is anointed, powerful. Y'all ain't gonna let that, let that. Don't let them praise them by itself. Somebody give them glory. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Woo. Come on, church. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody praise Somebody pray! Somebody pray! Whoa! Somebody yeah, yeah, pray! Yeah. yeah! At least clap your hands! Come on! At least clap your hands! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Whoa. Jesus, what you know about Jesus? 
what to know about Jesus. He's all right. 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 Yeah. Come on, somebody praise him. We got 20 more seconds. Come on. says at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God the Bible says the prisoners heard them and everybody got set free now it didn't say everybody was praising but everybody who heard got set free now somebody in the room don't have the strength to give God praise but when they hear your shout tonight they gonna get set free I need every real praiser to take 30 seconds and see I got enough power to get my whole row free. One, two, three, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody shout. See, I'm giving God my best praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say. Undignified. It don't make sense. But God is still, still sovereign. Just want to tell you 
help me, church. Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, we're transitioning now. Come on. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just wanna tell you, Lord, I love you. Everybody sing. Come on, help us sing. I was a man of God. worship tonight receive our praise as we celebrate the life of Sean McLemore God help us to never take life for granted help us to never take each other for granted use us tonight for your glory bless the family bless the friends bless those who are local those who flew from far let tonight change the trajectory of somebody's life. And God will give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. And we will give you the praise. In Jesus' name. Everybody clap your hands and say amen. 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 Listen, coming to the stage. He came from a long way, and he's about to bless us tonight. Can you put your hands together for Doobie, Doobie Power, Power and Company? company. Woo. I guess this is company right here. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, you company? Yeah. Okay, cool. Never heard of you. Oh. We love Doobie. Oh, <laughs> they need a little bit more time, so he James and I go do what we do. He shifted that quick. You saw, you saw him come out That's that quick? That's how you have to do it. You got to go with me. <laughs> From Connecticut. From Connecticut? Yeah. Okay, Question. Uh, anybody here, well, I know this question already, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, here. Los Angeles, outside of the family. Anybody else come from Los Angeles? That was a quiet All right, I, yeah. I see, I see you, Teddy. Teddy Campbell. Yeah. Eric Dawkins is in the building. Yes, sir. Make some noise. I said make some noise. They my friends. Just do it for me. Anybody? Call out your cities. North Carolina in the building. What's up, North Carolina? Greensboro, it's hometown. Uh oh. Who else came? Who else came to celebrate the life of Sean Mack? Where you come from? I can't hear you. Talk. Use your outside voice. Dallas. All right. Dallas. Oak Cliff, what it? 
I see Alex Ward in the building. Woo, woo, woo. My brother. Anybody here from Houston, Texas? That's not fair. That's Anybody from the Fofo Acres Home? Any Acres Home in the building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. Not fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's not fair. It's all good. You from Atlanta? Anybody from Atlanta in the building? Just On, me. Cool. Online. 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 <laughs> online. Let's. Hey, can y'all make some noise for our online church? People are watching from all over the world. Pastor we'll Patrick, bring me that CD. Man, I've been looking all over for this CD. And you know he got it. This one, hey, this is the one right here. They don't know about that who parents. got this? Who got who got this CD? Anybody still got it? Put your hands up. I didn't lost mine. I went on Amazon. I, I, I say Pastor Patrick didn't found. Is this for me? He was he, hesitant. Like, hey, he was he was reluctant about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say yes, Lord. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, man. This. Whew. Let me see. 1997. Let me see. Woo, it was it was a red jacket with the 19 buttons for me. Listen. That boy had that Steve Harvey special on. Come on, Doc. My God. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at him. Woo. Wait on him. Now, hold on. Who can, who can name the songs on this album? Not Every all song. Of them? All of them. Besides me. Besides you and Rhonda and. and, and, and I, got, I got something special for you. Okay, just name me one good song off this record other than Wait on Him. Not the family. Who? Christ did it all, yes, sir. Christ did it all was a smash. Woo. Sitting up in my room, that's Brandy. Sitting up in my room, praying and thinking about you, Jesus. Yes, sir. I must confess. What you gonna confess you. tonight? Come on, confession. Man, this is a good record. <laughs> oh, what? What? We selling CDs in the back after church tonight. <laughs> Y'all remember them days? What? Do we? What? Now y'all streaming. Y'all got fancy on this. Y'all streaming. <laughs> Pastor Dottie, you remember we used to, well, you was always a big time artist. You never sold CDs. He didn't come to the table. No, he, he didn't go didn't out to the, the table. See, now. Pastor Dottie didn't have to, me and James had to go to the table. Yeah, he had representatives there. He didn't do Pastor that. Pastor Dottie used to sing and go to the back door. Wow. What you not going to do. I'm just saying, he, he, he had security, James. People would overtake him. But I went on tour with him. He came out a couple times. Just a couple. The I late, I'm going to tell you why he didn't come out there, though. We was just on tour a couple years ago. The ladies they, would overwhelm Pastor they Donnie. They still do. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. I was glad when he didn't come out. Because when he came out, it was over. Everybody's yeah, table was empty. Yeah, nobody else was going to make no Yeah, money. everybody's table was empty. Now, when I was on tour with him, me and Cardi and Marcus D. Wiley, Pastor Donnie never came out. Wow. You did not. You never came out. What you're not going to do is call Pastor Donnie a liar, Doc. I didn't call him a liar. Not in my presence. I'm just... Holding him accountable. <laughs> <laughs> Holding him accountable. <laughs> he definitely. Woo. Man, uh. Do, do be, how you looking? I'm good, man. You look good. You ready? I'm good. Come on, Connecticut. Yes, sir. Make some noise one more time for Doobie Power and Company. The company! Make some noise. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Everybody in here happy you still love the Lord? Man, Sean was my, one of my closest friends, so I'm just honored to be in this space. Uh, I was going to be here regardless, but uh, thank you, Rhonda and family, for inviting me to have a space right now. Um, I'm going to do one of the songs he told me this was his favorite song. So I'm going to play that, but before I do that, I want to I wanna leave the family with something. Go to F, Kev. You are my hiding place. You come and fill my heart with song of deliverance. 
would never rhyme afraid I will trust in you my hiding place Ooh, you Whenever I'm afraid, oh, whenever I'm afraid, I need y'all to groove with me on this one. Y'all gonna do that? Turn the track up. One, two, three, go! Everybody put your hands together. Listen. When I wake up in the morning, like pelt the shrimp, got to say to my sound. Uh, food on my table, clothes on my back. I got to say, I may not have what I want, but I got what I need. Got to say to myself, yeah. Not been so good to me. Got to say to myself, everybody just clap your hands. Uh, in spite of what we're going through. Has he been good to anybody out there? Hey!
tune to Every second, every minute Every hour of the day Every month, every year I gotta tell the world That I love the Lord Forever and always And it's because of Him Let's try to stay within the time allotted. If we could do one song and get out of there because Sean's mom is here, the family's here, and they have a long day ahead of them tomorrow. So we want to be sensitive to the time. We want to celebrate his life. Uh, so let's get in and get out uh, and um, go have a good time. Amen. Yes. Now, I'm really, really excited. Y'all getting ready to get blessed once again. A legend. Oh, my goodness. Someone that I just looked up to forever. Um, it's been a blessing, just a, a goat, a legend, all that. Can y'all show some love for the incomparable V. Michael McKay? Okay. Woo! We still wiping down mics around here. Let me get that wipe. We sanitizing. Amen. Listen, don't play. They wipe me down? Huh? I'm Thanks, man. <laughs> James is out of control. They can't fool me. They listen to us. <laughs> Rhonda, we love you. We love you. Brought some friends with me. We're just going to say this hymn that was written in 19, I'm sorry, 1865. Uh, it's a Swedish hymn, and uh, you have to listen to these words to get to figure out what's going on. The text is archaic. Oh my God. But Sean was a wordsmith. Um, he enjoyed language. Come on, y'all. Yes. Day by day, day, by day. and with each passing moment. 
strength I find to meet my trials here. I'm trusting in my Father's wise bestowment. I have no cause for worry or for fear. He whose heart is wise beyond all measure gives unto each day what he deems best one by one each day each moment fleeting till I reach the promised land Help me then in every tribulation. Talk to the Lord. So to trust thy promises, O oh Lord. That I lose not faith's sweet consolation. Offered me within thy holy word. Within that holy word. Help me, Lord. When toil and trouble meet, they get together, y'all. Air to take as from our Father's hand. One by one, each day, each moment, fleeting. Till I reach that promised land. Praise the Lord. I'm going to get there one day. Let's go. Let's say it now. Help me in my moments of great sorrow. Help me in my moments of great sorrow. Help me in my moments of great sorrow. I'm standing on your promises, oh Lord. I'm standing on your promises, oh Lord. I pray to keep the faith and its sweet comfort offered me within that holy word. Within that holy word. Help me, Lord. When trouble knocks on my door trying to separate you and me, oh Lord, one by one, each day, each moment, swiftly passing till I reach the promised land.
trouble not. We trouble not.
Michael McKay. Woo. Come on, give God praise for him. Two things real quick. The first thing I want to say is, that's the kind of gospel I grew up on. Yes, that's church. That's church, guy. And the second thing I noticed tonight is, James, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have first talk out of Houston. I know you try to take the credit. No, I don't. But it was V. Michael McKay. <laughs> Y'all give God praise for V. Michael McKay. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So at this time, I want to call up. Uh, it's time for a special presentation from our Congresswoman. Y'all, everybody jump to your feet for Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Come on, Houston. Let's show us some love for our very own Congresswoman. Sweet Jesus. Jesus, sweet Jesus. What a precious name. Jesus, sweet Jesus. What a night to remember tonight. I just ask my brothers and sisters as we gather here today with Mother Mac, and I always call Sister Rhonda, Lady Rhonda McLemore, his bride, and she will always be. And then, Sharon, I have enjoyed watching my child. And when I say that, all of us have watched Sharon, and I've watched her in God's grace. And I just want you to take a moment right now and give an applause for this family. All of them, the L.A. family, the Houston family, give God the glory for all that he has done. I will not be able to stand in the shoes of V. Michael and Isaac and Jane Fortune and all of these. I've always wanted to sing, but this is not the night. Uh, I remember going to the Attorney General's office in Washington, Mother Mac, and every black person looks alike, and they walked in and they said, Attorney General said, oh, here comes the gospel singer. And I said, well, not tonight. But let me, um, let me thank Mother Mac and your late husband for giving us Dr. Sean Lamont McLemore. Thank you in God's gracious name. Thank you to his brothers and sisters who nurtured him, admired him, loved him, for that's where it starts. Thank you to Lady Rhonda McLemore for sharing him, standing by him, and lifting him up. And Sharon, I will always say, a daddy's girl never loses her daddy. He will wrap you in love that you will not be able to be released. And so tonight I want to take a moment to pay tribute to him. There is royalty in this room. The gospel icons that are here and those of you who have come know the path that Sean has made. To Bishop Usher and First Lady Usher, thank you for opening this wonderful church. Those of you who are moving around, thank you for being patient and giving us just a little time. For in this moment, though we are celebrating, I think it is important to pick our own heroes and sheroes. Sean may have been a son of L.A., but he's a voice of Houston. And he's taken that voice and he has spread it around the world. I call Sean, Dr. Sean, a church builder. 
because he would get his ministry, Reverend Dr. Patrick, he'd go to a church and you may have two by the time he got through. You had to build another building. Pastors loved his unselfishness. He would come not to be the pastor, but to minister. He would come to save souls and to make a difference. He always had a sweetness, but he can sure make you laugh. He was a man that drew friends toward him. It was my honor to have Sean call me in those days before he really got ill. Said his project that he was going to start doing needed a spoken word. And I will never forget those words of him asking Sheila Jackson Lee to be part of the spoken word. I am still out for the contract but now I'll have to reach to heaven to get it done. And so as James said, still in business, but at a different location, I'm going to say that he is now leading the heavenly choir. The music is strong. The words are uplifting. The dancing has never stopped. And the spirit of Sean Lamont McLemore is without question. As he became a son of plays and movies, can you imagine that Cedric, he could have taken it up, been uh, with Snoop Dogg and LL Cool J and Tyler Perry and never stopped. He didn't need to look back at the church because he was on his way. But Sean said, God first, Jesus. Jesus, the sweet name of Jesus. Because he did that for us, I'm going to almost say that he took a step in the direction to save lives. He was an angel amongst us. We've lost our angel here on earth, but he's taken the footsteps of heaven. I can hear him now with his wonderful collaborative voice. And that voice that makes us want to say, Jesus, 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 the sweet name of Jesus. So tonight I know and tomorrow I'll be as well offering to you these words of tribute to him. I won't sing these words and I won't sing them all. But as I go to my seat, I want you to be reminded of the song that always saved a life always brought a soul to Christ. Somewhat like Donnie McClurkin's stand that he sang at my mother's funeral. Thank you, Brother McClurkin, for coming all the way here, for loving us. We thank you so very much. And so as I go to my seat, I just have to be able to say that the song that was collaborated with Sean, that only he could sing it in that way, and I just simply offered words to this family. I believe the storm will soon be over. I believe the rain will go away. I believe that I can make it through. Ooh, I believe it's done. I told you I wanted to sing. I believe that the family will get better. I believe God will provide. I believe the promise that he made. Ooh, I believe it's already done. Mother Mac, it's already done. Sister, Rhonda, it's already done. I believe, and it is my privilege to be here to present this congressional resolution that will be placed in the United States congressional record as a tribute to Dr. Sean Lamont McLemore. Although we are shut down in Washington, as someone who made Gospel Music Heritage Month, I will invite you all to Washington with a tribute to Dr. Sean Lamont McLemore in the halls of Congress. And as we do that, we will recognize that though all he walked from LA to Houston, he's America's Sean. He's Gospel Music Sean. 
He's a nation, Sean. He's a world, Sean. And he has honored us. I believe. I believe. And it's already done. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I will come down now to present you not only with this resolution, but I will also present you with the flag that flew through those Capitol Police hoisted over the United States Capitol, the Citadel of Democracy, in the name of Dr. Sean Lamont McLaurin. This is his flag. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. Mother Mac, we thank you. God bless you all. God bless this church. God bless this family. God bless the United States of America. I'm going to give God praise. Y'all make sure y'all get your pictures of this. This is major. Come and start setting up now. Everybody, please stand. Everybody, please stand. Military, military, I'm sorry. Military. All the military, please stand. If you're military, please stand. All the military, please stand. All military. All military, please stand. ROTC. Still got your uniform. Does not count. Come on, give the family a hand one more time. And I know it's been said a few times, but can we just one more time, just for allowing this night to happen, can we praise God for Bishop Usher and his lovely wife. Thank you so much. Thank you. I see my brother Zacardi Cortez in the building, y'all. Yes, and James. From that fofo, -fo, huh? And James yeah. also, a little birdie, a little birdie told me that Kimberell is in the building. My God. So I'm excited, so y'all sit tight as we move quickly. As we move quickly. We will get everybody through. Woo! Please be sensitive to the time. One of my favorite choirs right here. I'm ready for this. But this choir right here. Go ahead, James. It's your hometown. I'm going to let you do this. Okay. Yep, there it is, Chris. Y'all show some love to Houston Mass Choir. Y'all show some love. Woo! Mercy, peace, and love be unto you all from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. James, this is not just your favorite choir. This is the greatest choir in the whole wide world. Tonight, under the direction of Brother Kenneth Green, we give you the Houston Mass Choir of the Gospel Music Workshop of America. Everybody say amen.
in the building. Y'all show him some love. Eric Carrington. Uh-oh. They still got it going. I hear they still playing it. I, we can do a versus if you want to. Me and you? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. I do, dude. I do, good, good, good. 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 They'll be on YouTube in 10 minutes. <laughs> Church Shade Yeah. Never heard of it. One more time for the Houston Mass Choir. Listen, coming up next, as we're moving, we still got a lot to do tonight. Thank y'all for being here as we continue to honor the life, the legacy of Dr. Sean McLemore, uh, one of the people who were uh, absolutely influential uh, in, in Sean's career and my career and just taking us all over the world, um, pushing so much of our music, um, so much of our ministry. And I'm excited that he's here. He's, a, he's an icon. He's been doing it for yes. a long time and changing lives for a long time and just he's just he's a goat man let's show some he's love to the one and only Kerry Douglas. Douglas come on KD come on make some noise praise God how y'all doing I want to give honor to uh, pastor first lady um, you know, I, I uh, had something wrote down to talk about um, Sean. You know, I met him about three decades ago when we were working on um, uh, someone else that was close to us, Pastor E. Stewart's new, um, with his album. So that's about three decades ago. So I had all this great stuff to say about Sean. And um, after Sheila Jackson Lee got up here, you know, she, she kind of covered it all. But there was something special that I just want to share with y'all. And maybe, uh, maybe there's somebody out here I can help through this, this testimony about Sean. So about uh, uh, probably about nine or ten years ago, Sean had a massive heart attack. And, um, and after his heart attack, Sean and I would talk on the phone about about uh, the symptoms of his heart attack and how it felt, how his body felt working up to that heart attack. Well, you know, I'm a stubborn man. You know, black people, we don't like to go to the doctors and all that. So this year, Less than a month ago, on September the 11th, some of you might not know, I had a massive heart attack. God spared my life so I could be here. So I could be here and celebrate Sean. But see, what, what a lot of people don't know is that I wasn't going to go to the doctor. I wasn't going to the doctor. I had, I had that first wave on my left side. And, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, I need something uh, to take care of this. But then when that second wave came in, I can remember when Sean told me about his heart attack and how, how it hit him and how it, how it made him feel. And at that point, I told my wife, I said, I have to go to the doctor now. And when I got to the hospital and they laid me on the operating table and the doctor said, son, if, 
it would have been another hour you wouldn't be here. So I said that to say that Dr. Sean left some things with me. Just because of the way we talk, late at night he just shared so many things and that was one of the things that he shared with me and I feel like that saved my life and that's why I'm here today. And I'm going to be a spokesman for some of us black men who think we're so strong and we're, you know, we can just do, we don't need to go to doctors. Y'all need to go to doctors. <laughs> but anyway, Sean has been on my label for, uh, for quite some time and we had this song out called Having Church on Sunday Morning. We was about to put it out. And then the corona came. So Sean and I would talk all the time on the phone. I say, Sean, I think we should wait till the churches open back up. I think we should wait till the churches open back up and then we'll re-release this song Sunday morning. Uh, that was something that I regretted. That's something that I regret. I wish I would have put his song out while he was here. Uh, but I will say this. I'll make a promise to y'all today. As long as I'm here, Sean McLemore would live through his music. <laughs> because I am the one about making things happen in the music business and I'm going to make sure that y'all get having church on Sunday morning and y'all going to keep on getting I believe so uh, just pray for us Rhonda, Sharon Mama Mac y'all had a great man of God he was a great inspiration to me and I love him much. And I want to thank all of y'all for coming out and celebrating this evening with Sean McLemore. Thank you. Come on, give God praise for Kerry Douglas. KD, Black Smoke Music Worldwide. Coming to the stage right now, can you put your hands together for inspirational sound New image. Now everybody got to stand up on this. Yeah, Come on, y'all. I, I need everybody to Come stand on, up. Come on, y'all. This the. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this about to be good. I always wanted to be in this squad. Come on, one time, one more time, clap your hands. For those that don't know, this is history up here. When Sean moved to Houston, he started a choir called Inspirational Sound. Coco, Dana, what y'all doing? Amen. He started a choir called Inspirational Sound. And they start sweeping through the city. And then they started traveling and traveling. Is Sadie Jackson here? Sadie Jackson. She's not here, she'll probably be here tomorrow. But this one song that, um, he moved here with Mr. Luke Austin. <laughs> to Houston and they start doing work. But this one song is, uh, says so many things about tomorrow. I don't have the strength to sing the top of it like Sean, but just clap your hands like this. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Show many things about tomorrow. I just can't understand.
Make some noise for inspirational sound, new image. That was crazy. Now I'm gonna tell you something. Sean Mack used to do, Sean Mack used to do this thing, and I've been trying to do this for 30 years, and I still can't do it. I think Eric Dawkins can do it. He used to do this thing with his voice. He used to, oh, 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 oh. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I ain't been able to get that thing. I've been working that thing for 30 years. I still ain't got it. He's a, do it, Jay. Oh, 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 It was crazy, and he would do it in syncopation on any song, slow song, fast song, shout music. I'm like, how you do that? I think Zacardi can do it. Zacardi, you can do that. Come here, Cardi. Can you do that? Look hard. He look Cardi now. Look, come here, look Cardi. Cardi. Come here, look Cardi. Can you do it? Come here, look Cardi. Come here, look Cardi. Y'all make some noise for look Cardi Cortez. That was Sean Mack right there. Yes, Woo. Coming to the stage right now. We're moving. This man right here is amazing. His voice yes. is amazing. We all know him. We love him. And he's here to pay tribute to our brother, Sean McLemore. Make some noise for Ernest P. Yeah. Woo. And also, also, let's let's thank God for Ernest Pugh who helped put this whole thing together yes, as well, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so blessed just to see everybody coming to celebrate Sean, to Rhonda, Sharon, to Mama Mac. I just want everybody to know I'm not here tonight because Sean died. I'm here because he lived. And boy, did he live. Consistent source of strength and encouragement to me. And one, one thing I want to say most of our conversations we had, it was not about the industry. We talked about our daughters. We talked about just staying healthy. We talked about just having longevity. And so I'm so honored that anytime I could call Sean, even when Sean started getting to where he couldn't move around, Sean would answer the phone and I'd be like, what's, what's wrong with you? He'd be like, you know I'm good, you know I'm good. And when I got the news, I'm gonna tell y'all why I was not sad. Because one thing that Sean had done was made his peace with God. He made his peace. He didn't talk about defeat. He didn't talk about leaving. We all have to leave here. But Sean knew exactly what time it was. And so I'm honored that absent from the body today, he's present with the Lord. Rhonda, Sharon, I just want y'all to know God gives us a promise with a condition. The promise is I'm going to keep you in perfect peace. But you have to keep your mind. That's all I can say. Pastor Donnie, get ready. I may have to have you finish it. I don't have my strength to really do it, but I, I'm doing this for Sean tonight. Y'all ready? God will keep you in no Perfect peace. Oh, yes, he will. All whose mind is laid on me. Yeah, yeah. God will keep you in perfect peace. Yes, he will. in this house tonight. Why should I, so I be 
deep out when, when he hung and he bled and he died on for you Jesus and me. Died for That's you what I came me. to let you know tonight. He has believed.
Oh, I know he will. Oh, may I said he will. A way out. I don't know where. Can I testify? God will. Just five weeks ago, my grandmother got out of here. It broke my heart. Oh, no. It broke it way down. God will. And just two weeks after my grandmother died, listen, I found her caretaker dead in her house. God, I said he will. He will. He'll keep your mind in perfect peace. If you just keep it stayed on him. Wait a minute. The very next day. I said the very next day. My grandmother, her sister died. God will. He will. Make a way. Oh. 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 Listen, children. One year, my mama left. The next year looked like Whitney left and the next year my brother got out of here and the next few years Kevin left me and, and then my grandmother as I was driving here I thought about Rhonda she was there every time I lost somebody so tonight I came to say he will do it he'll make a way oh. Trouble. Yes, for those of y'all that gotta pay bills, oh, give it to him. He is the keeper. you to turn and look at somebody and say hey somebody I don't know the details of your life but one thing's for sure that I have surely found out in this pandemic and even before the pandemic you ought to look at him and say he'll make a way you ought to look down at your feet and say he'll make a way you gotta look at what you got on your back and say, Heal, make a way. You gotta high five somebody and say, Heal, heal. Heal, make a way. Listen, listen arrest the enemy out of somebody's emotions tonight because one thing about Sean McLemore he cared listen he had a big heart and, I, and one of the reasons that I'm sure this house is filled tonight is because Sean supported everybody and when you called on him he came so what I'm trying to tell y'all he preached his life so I want to ask some of y'all what is your life preaching what is your life story? Will somebody show up and say they were there? Will somebody show up and say he can? Will somebody show up and say she can? And, and tonight, listen, tonight, we celebrate all that he did. He traveled the world and he came to Houston and changed it. We are a talented city, but Sean McLemore came to Houston 
and changed it. He brought church choirs together and made them an inspirational choir. We owe him so much praise and appreciation. So let's take another moment and just clap our hands for Sean, can we? Everybody, come on, let's do it. I wanna say to my sister Rhonda and to Sharon, God's going to give you everything you need. Peace, strength, and all the desires that your father had for you. I know they will come. You know, he used to talk to me about you. He loved you so, so, so very much. And he believed in you. And Rhonda, we celebrate you. Because you made him an excellent wife. You did very well. Well, Houston, are you there? You did very well. You traveled with him. You covered him. You protected him. Even when he started to get sick, you called me and told me. Why? Because you were there. And we celebrate you being there. Thank you for doing all that you did for him. We thank you tonight. Thank y'all for letting me share this little time. I just want to say this. I don't know if he is still here, but ain't but one V. Michael McKay. Where is V? He might get me for this, but my nickname for him is Pastor Mike McKay because V. Michael has as much word in him as the preachers that he has served. And I appreciate the life that he has lived and is living. As he was ministering, hey Houston, hey Houston, don't y'all think that we should get together and have a huge celebration for Mike? Hello. <clears throat> v. Michael McKay stood on this stage tonight and I sat over there after 40 plus years of watching you, still in awe still in celebratory mode because you are so awesome it will come to your mind who to celebrate who's living while you celebrate who has died and i hate that it takes this you know but one thing i know for sure if sean knew that he had to be a seed in the ground for somebody else to be celebrated he wouldn't mind leaving again and so tonight i want to say to you v michael mckay as your sister in the lord as someone who celebrates you and loves you so very much. Not only was the choir awesome, not only were you awesome, you are an awesome, one-of-a-kind man of God. And we celebrate and we honor you so very much. And I don't know, one of us, five of us, we need to take the lead and do it right. If you'll let me, I will come and sit with you. Because can I tell you something? You can't, you can't do much for creatives. You have to find out what they want. Sometimes you can give your best and it's still not good enough for them. And it's not that creatives are ungrateful, it's just that they want to be represented right. And so I want to ask for an opportunity to sit with you and get your permission and find out how you want this to go. Because there are choirs, GMWA choirs all over this world who owe you. Let's celebrate V. Michael McKay, everyone. I love you so much, my friend. Love you so much. Um, thank you, Ernest Pugh, for letting me tag team with you. That's what we do. I appreciate that, honey. Um, as y'all can see, this choir is standing here again. I love y'all so very much. Thank y'all for coming back up here. And um, let's not act like this just happened. We rehearsed last night, y'all say amen. And so we're gonna do it. I wanna do this song that um, Sean was gracious enough. And uh, can I just tell you this? One of the reasons that we love Sean so much is because when he came into Houston, he wasn't one-sided, he was giving, he was open. And any door that was open for him, he invited other people in. And uh, I was one of those persons that he told Sadie Jackson, I want Kim Burrell on this record. So I say to Sean, I love you so much. I can't talk too long about it. I get a little sappy because we're gonna miss him. And yes, Ike, he was funny. Okay, let's do this song that he let me do. This is Magnify Him. Come on, y'all. Everybody, come on, come on, come on. Everybody, come on. Thank you, Sean. Remember that? Come on, Houston. Hey.
One more time, y'all, for Miss Kim Burrell. Houston got some talent. Period. Wow. Oh, God, really. It's, um, it's a time right now. I want to bring up uh, the pastor of this house, Bishop Usher. Come on, let's show some love. Come on, y'all, make some noise for him. For Bishop Usher as he comes. Amen. Well, we're, we're here to pray a proud comfort for the entire family. And uh, we know that we can do all of the singing and the praising, but prayer is what's going to get us through. Amen. And so there are many days ahead. Uh, we're just in the beginning. And uh, I remember uh, the celebration of my mother. Uh, you must understand the effects after the days when everybody is gone and you're left alone. You're, you're there to deal with the loss of that loved one. So I'm asking ask the intercessors, those, those that can intercede, if you can just stand on your feet because we are going before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for this family that God is not just going to get them through today and tomorrow, but he's going to get them through. Oh, I wish I had a church. He's going to get them through. And Ernest Pugh was singing, God will keep you in perfect peace. One of my favorite songs, because my sleep was robbed when my mother transitioned. But thank God through prayer, I gain my sleep back. Come on, somebody. I know what prayer can do. And so all of the intercessors, will you just start giving God some glory right now? Lifting up your voice. Living, giving him some glory. Giving him some praise. Before we ask you for anything, Lord, we thank you. Because we know that you are God of gods and kings of kings. And this is not an unfamiliar place that we're in, God. But God, you've been faithful. And we love you and we thank you for your faithfulness. Now we lift this family up before you, Father. Beyond just today and tomorrow. But we would give you, we would ask that you would give them that strength. In the midnight hour. That you would give them that strength beyond today that you would give them that waiting strength as they wait on you that you would comfort them like only you can wrap your loving arms around them let them feel your glory let them feel your love let them feel your power even in the midst of the lost father grieving god we pray right now that you would encourage their hearts and we we comfort them with these words to be absent from the body is to be present with you and Sean is with you now and so therefore we celebrate these days but we pray God that you would comfort this family, comfort his daughter, comfort his mother, comfort all of those that's connected to Sean beyond this day and we give you the glory because you're going to keep them in perfect peace because we know that you're going to keep them because we know that the legacy of Sean shall live even through them. And we give you praise and we give you glory. They would not have no breakdowns, but breakthroughs. Yes. They would have no nervous breakdowns, but breakthroughs. I, pre I, 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 I speak prosperity over their life. I speak wholeness over their life. I speak joy over their life. Because we understand and know that weeping may endure for the night. But joy is coming in the morning. And we give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus' name. Will you clap your hands and give God praise right now? In 2010, I called Sean. I said, Sean, I got this song that um, I would love to be a part of. And, uh, it's amazing to see how this song even has blessed people all over the world. Sean was, he was more than just a singer. He, he ministered. 
we were in the studio recording. It was literally tears running down our faces. as he began to sing that verse. And I, I don't know what, what it was that, that made Sean just give me the opportunity in 2004 to be on my first album and second, al second album in 2007 and this in 2010. But I know that I, I can say this and I mean it, that I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for Sean McLemore being a part of my life and my ministry. Let's go. If you still got faith tonight, can you stand up and help us say? Come on, Houston, let's sing it for Sean. You gotta encourage your own self that I can make it through it. Oh, I believe it's already done. Houston, that's a good place to give God praise right there, y'all. Houston, I say that's a real good place to give God a praise today. If you believe that it's already better, that God's already given you peace, that God already carried you through the storm. Come on, Isaac Kareem, can you sing it for Sean for me tonight? I believe. The family will get better And I believe God will provide And I believe The promise that He made Oh, I believe Oh, it's already done the blessing is yours. God has already pre-approved you for it. Come on, Zacardi. Say it. I believe my God is the healer. Yes, he is. And I believe that I will survive. Oh, I Can you wave your hands all over this house? If you know it's already getting better, come on, can you just tell three people around you, say it's already done. Come on, say it's already done. It's, it's already better. That God is already fixing it. That God is already turning it around and making it work for your good and for his glory. And if you know it, do some, somebody lift your hands up in the place and say, I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh, no. I 
Coming to the stage, Carnell Davis and I T P. Give God praise for him. Let's go. Thank you. 
All right. God bless you all tonight. God bless you all tonight. Everything was so awesome. Listen, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. is the viewing. 11 is the home going celebration. Please mask up. Everybody's invited back out tomorrow. Let's send our brother home with class. God bless you all. Be safe and stay on the right side of the road. God bless y'all.